हेलो वेलकम टू एस एस यूनिट टेक्स सुशील दिस साइड एंड दिस इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ पाइस पार्क परफॉर्मेंस ट्यूनिंग सो इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी हैव सीन अबाउट द स्पार्क क्वेरी प्लान सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द प्रैक्टिकल नॉलेज ऑन दिस एंड विल बी गोइंग टू आल्सो अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द नैरो एंड वाइड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो बिफोर गोइंग फॉरवर्ड इफ यू हैव इट वॉच द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस वीडियो सीरीज सो आई वुड रिकमेंड यू ऑल please watch all these videos in sequence because it might little bit difficult to understand the next topic so let's get started so in the last video we have seen about the data frame and query how it will be go inside the unresolved logical plan then the logical plan then the optimized logical plan then the physical plan so all those will be going to see in this video so before going inside the practical first we have to understand about the narrow and wide transformation so what is the narrow and wide transformation so if you are having any transformation which is not supporting any kind of the shuffle so then that will be the narrow transformation and if any transformation will be going to use the shuffle then that will be your wide transformation so if you are having any wide transformation so that will be very costly because the shuffle operation is very costly so what is the shuffle operation so i am going to record a detailed video on that in this video i am going to just give the brief introduction about that let's assume if your data is stored in the partitions and our requirement is we just want to do the group by do the join so on those scenarios we should be going to use all the partitions that we are having so what will be happening all those partitions will be going to reshuffle the data between their partitions so that is the shuffle so as you can as assume like we are having a large data set and those are stored in the partitions and if the data is going to move in between then that will be very costly and in terms of the narrow transformations the shuffle will not be happen so for example of the transformations like the filter transformation and if you are doing the casting so then that will also come inside the narrow transformation and if you talk about the wide transformations then that will be join aggregations so all these are the part of your white transformation so let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see all these in practical so here first i am going to read the data from one of our csv file that is the customers.csv file and here we are going to do the filter on that country where the country name is india and if we want to see the plan then we have to use the df dot explain and under that we have to use the true so it will be going to show all the plan with us so let me execute and here if you can see we are having a lot of plans available so let's just start with the first one a uh, past logical plan so past logical plan is nothing but it is the unresolved logical plan and the analyzed logical plan is nothing but this is the resolved logical plan and then we can see this optimized logical plan so this is the optimized logical plan and then we have this physical plan so your operation will be based on this physical plan but this physical plan will be based on the optimized logical plan and optimized logical plan is based on the analyzed logical plan and it is starting from the past logical plan so let's try to see from the top so if you can see here inside the past logical plan so this is simply scanning the data from this csv file and after that it is adding the filter so this is very straight forward and after that if we go inside the logical plan then what will be happening if we are going to see details of this then first it is going to take the relation and it is scanning that csv file and after that here we can see it is adding the filter here and after that we can see by using this uh, indicating the data type of all those columns so this is the resolved logical plan and then we have the optimized logical plan so optimized logical plan will be constructed by using the resolved logical plan so here we are having the data types with us so here if you can see then it is going to scan your file and after that it is adding the filter but if you can see it is explicitly adding is not null of this country and after that it is adding the country of this should be india but this is not null we have not added anywhere if you can see with our query that we are having with us we are not adding this is not null so by default optimized logical plan will be adding this option 
because it is going to your catalyst optimizer will be going to check and try to create the best logical plan for you so that's why it is by default adding here and if we go here inside the physical plan then what we'll be seeing if we are going to copy this physical plan first and let me quickly go inside the notepad plus plus and if we are trying to understand this logical plan so first it is scanning and reading the schema so it is always going to start from the bottom so first it is scanning your file and then it is reading your schema of the file so this is the first thing and after that here you can see the post filter so we have already discussed about the post filter in the last video so here it is adding if you can see at the starting while it is scanning the file at the same time it is also pushing the filter there so it will be extracting only the required data all the data should not be appearing here only the required data it is going to automatically add while scanning the file that you can see because this step is coming for file scan so post filter is adding here and next if we can go then we can see this partitions on the filter nothing we are not using any partitions and then from this path we are going to read it and this location the format we can see csv and here if we can go and try to see this data filters so we have two type of filters one is the data filter and second is the post filter so post filter will automatically added by the logical plan we are not doing anything there the data filter explicitly we are defining in our query like we should be going to have the data only for india but this post filter we are not defining so logical plan by their optimized purpose it is adding there and if we can go again then at the starting we can see we are having this filter one more time so why we are having this duplicate things happening in the physical plans because this filter is added by the logical plan so we are not doing anything on this filter this is directly we are inheriting from the logical plan and this filter is added by your physical plan so by using the logical plans it is going to create the multiple physical plans and after that it is picking the best one so this is the best one where this post filter is added and we can also see and this is the physical plan for this query so by using this plan it your query will be executed and you will see the output might be one question is coming in your mind on which scenario this post filter will not be added here so yes we are having few of the scenarios the first scenario if your column is having key value pair and we wanna do the filter on the key then on that scenario this post filter will not be added here and we are also having one more option if we are doing any manipulation on this country and then we wanna do the filter then on that scenario also this push filter will not be added with your query so let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see in practical as well so let me scroll down so here what we are doing here simply we are taking the index and then we are casting this into numeric and then we are adding one so here we are doing certain transformations under that and after that we are doing the filter so this time this should not be added in your post filter because we are doing certain transformations so let me try to copy this physical plan from here and let's analyze so if we can see the same thing is happening reading the schema and after that we can see the post filter so this post filter is added only for this index is not null and the next thing like your transformations that we are doing like index plus one and after that we are taking that value from your comparison as two so that thing is not adding here so this is one of the example where the push filter will not be part of your physical plan so if we are having certain kind of thing then your push filter will not be part of this so always keep in mind while you are doing certain transformations and after that doing the filter then you should be avoiding of using those because while reading the file if you will be keeping only the minimal data then that will be good so i hope you can understand like you should be going to avoid such type of things so this is we have talked about the narrow transformations 
let's go and try to see the physical plan of y transformations we are dumping that data into this data frame and after that we are doing the group by on the country and after that taking the count of this index so this is what we are doing so this is the y transformations as i told you it will require the suffering and we'll see also in practical inside the physical plan let me execute this query and we'll try to analyze the physical plan of this so if you can go here and you can see this plan is a little bit bigger site so let me try to copy this and go notepad plus plus and try to see here so this is the physical plan so if you can see here we are doing the file scan and inside the file scan if you can make it little bit downside then we can see here you can see the push filter we don't have any filter here so that's why the push filter is not here and remaining thing is okay so first it is scanning the your csv file that is okay and it is having this location from where it is getting the data now here we can see this has key aggregate so has key aggregate is nothing but on which column we are doing the aggregate so as i told you we are doing on the basis of the country so that's why in the key you can see the country and then here we can see the partial count so we are doing the count on this index so that's why we are getting this value so this is coming under the hash aggregate now the next thing here we can see your exchange hash partition so what is this this is nothing but the suffer so if your query plan is having exchange has partitioning so that is nothing but your shuffle is happening on your query plan so here again you can see we are doing this aggregate and after that we are having this adaptive spark plan which is false so this is false i'll be going to tell you in future what is this but as of now you should be understanding first it is scanning then you are doing the aggregate and after that it is doing the shuffle and again it is doing the aggregate so this is what it is happening in case of the white transformation so i hope guys you have understood about the white transformation about the narrow transformation how the shuffle is happening how the pushed filter will be appearing how the pushed filter will not be appearing and why pushed filter is very important in terms of the performance you have understood each and everything if you guys have any questions or any queries you can comment out in this video and if you want to learn any specific topic you can also comment in this video i'll try to record any video so thank you so much for watching this video keep watching and keep learning see you in the next video